So in my last video, someone suggested that we revisit the coloring book challenge in The Sims 4. So I looked it up on my channel and the original coloring book build challenge that I posted was exactly two years ago to the exact date that I'm posting this one, which is too weird of a coincidence not to do it. Plus, look at how many packs have come out since last time we did this. So we're gonna get into it, but first a word from our sponsor. This video is sponsored by Mistplay and gamers, you're gonna wanna check this one out. Let me explain. So you guys already know that I love mobile games. I just love playing them whenever I need to pass the time. And Mistplay is a loyalty app for gamers. So you can earn rewards by simply playing games on your phone. I know, it's wild. Mistplay offers a huge variety of games. Like we have puzzle games, word games, strategy, adventure, whatever you like. And the best part is the more you play, the more points you can earn. And those points can be redeemed for gift cards like Amazon, Walmart, PlayStation, Xbox, and many others. I was really impressed by the gift card options that are available. There's a super fun Ensemble Stars music game I've been playing, and I'm working towards an Amazon gift card so I can get myself something from there. There have been over $100 million worth of gift cards already redeemed. So check out mistplay.com slash sidmac or click the link down in the description to download Mistplay for free. You'll get 200 bonus points by signing up today, plus you can use my code SIDMAC50 inside the app for an additional 50 points, which will help towards redeeming your first gift card. Thanks again to Misplay for sponsoring this video, and let's get back into it. So basically, the coloring book challenge in The Sims 4 is a build challenge that I made up where you first use the white swatch in the color filter and build an entire house using only white swatches. Kinda like the solid color build challenge at first, but then at the end, we color it in by changing every swatch from white to something else. So we end up with an entire house full of swatches that we didn't actually pick, which as you can imagine, can turn out quite interesting. <laughs> so right now I'm building my shell. I don't really have a plan at the moment. I'm kind of just going with it. But while I am doing this, we have something to talk about. I can't keep it in. I was going to wait till later in the video, but there is apparently a Sims movie, a movie about the Sims currently being produced by... <laughs> Margot Robbie. I saw this on Twitter last night and I rightfully lost my mind. I don't think any more information has come out since then, but like I need to know your dream cast. Like who's gonna play Balagoth? Who's playing Don Lothario? I have too many questions right now that need answers. These are some of the answers that I got when I asked this question on Twitter and some of the replies are just too good not to share. Like Eva Longoria as Balagoth, Jenna Ortega as Cassandra is perfect, and Sarah's idea. But let me know what your dream cast for a sims movie would be in the comments down below okay i've played around with my shell a little bit more we've got these two pillars at the front which i feel like turning into fountains so i'm starting off by adding white eco lifestyle windows all the way around these we're gonna get a pool in the middle and i'm gonna add these fountains right there in the center i'm also paging down and changing even the tiles inside the pool to white i'm gonna use some white foundation paint from horse ranch and i don't think our roofing is gonna be too crazy today, but I'm taking two gabled roof pieces and we're going to copy and flip them. So they're just together like that. And then I'm taking an octagonal roof piece and we're going to squeeze that right onto the center here. I actually just added a smaller roof piece going along the left side there. And let's see what we have for roof paint. I kind of don't hate this one here. Oh, and we could use some white for rent trim. For wallpaper outside, I'm using this siding here from Cats and Dogs. But for my chimney, I'm going to use this brick here from Cottage Living. I I think for all of my balconies, I'm going to use this white fence here from Discovery University. And now for windows and doors. I feel like I want to go fancy with this one. So I was thinking about something extravagant, like something like that from Get Famous. Where did my windows go? For windows in the back, I think I'm going to use these ones from the Romantic Garden Stuff Pack. And I'm really considering Strangerville for the rest. I changed my mind. I hate this door right now. I think I've been looking at it for too long, which says a lot because it's only been like five minutes. Do I like the front roofing better like this? And then we could put like a, a window box there or something. We get some white trim going around, some white like stone flooring, and maybe some stairs. I love this fence so much, but there's no matching railing to it, which drives me a little crazy. So what I like to do is just like bring the wall out a little with the foundation. It's not the same as a railing, but then at least like it matches. And for the decks, I think I'm just gonna use some cats and dogs wood. For the backyard, I'm bringing this tile out 
out and I'm thinking about just carving out a spot for like seating. And then I'm a little worried about landscaping because we have a few options, but it's really not a whole lot. So I'm thinking about using some fencing to make it look a little more interesting. This one from Get Together is one of my favorites. Oh, we have this white tree from Cats and Dogs. We can size that up and maybe put it in the backyard. And then like, they're not under the swatches, but do those trees over there count? They're looking pretty white to me. I think they get the pass. We're gonna let that one slide. And then for the rest of the landscaping, I'm gonna use these here. These flowers are from the Romantic Garden stuff. We've also got some base game hedges we can use. Oh, these are super pretty too from Cats and Dogs. When we can use these too, these are under the white swatch. I'm gonna add these in here just for a little something extra on the house. So this is how our all white house turned out so far. I added in a ton of water features on this house. So we have two fountains right at the front and of course the fountains that we added in these columns. I'm so excited to see how this is gonna turn out once it's fully colored in. And then going over to the back, I made a really cute backyard space with a dining table. We have another fountain in the back there. That one is from Realm of Magic. And I also added these here from my wedding stories. We've got the champagne here. We also have a fountain. There's a barbecue, some gardening space. And I also included a bee box over to the right. I also did make a layout for today. So both floors are gonna have one bedroom, one bath, and then an open space where we can do kitchen, living room, and an extra space for hobbies. So getting my white color filter back on, I'm going to find a wallpaper. And I was thinking about using this one here from Modern Luxe. For my flooring, I'm gonna use this one from Eco Lifestyle. I know we're gonna have good swatch options with that. And I'm bringing that upstairs as well. Let's start off with our kitchen essentials. So I'm gonna be using this fridge here from the Home Chef Hustle Pack. I'm also gonna be using the matching counters. And I also have a space over here, which I think I'm gonna add counters there as well. We could do my sink here, our oven there, and I should have room for another counter space here as well. Maybe just a smaller one. We may as well stick with the matching cabinets. I've got my smoke detector up there and I always forget to include a thermostat in my builds until I go into gameplay and my poor sims are freezing so we're gonna add one of those there. We'll squeeze a trash can right here and I think over here I want to leave one counter for prep but I think another small appliance could work like maybe a waffle maker. We could be super efficient and include a dishwasher. I'm adding some lights in here and I do need to be careful because since we are using all white it can get way too bright in here very quickly so I'm just using these wall lights here from from spa day. We're adding sheer curtains in here for the ambiance. And honestly, I feel like we could fit a small table in here still. We do have a massive table outside if Sims did want to eat out there. Oh, we could put it by the window. That would be so cute. Maybe it's just a couple that lives here and if they host, they sit outside. And then for clutter, I'm just trying to find some little things I can put in that corner there. I'm also adding a mirror over this little spot here. And we actually have way more room than I expected. So I'm just adding a bigger table right in the center. I'm also adding in these lights. These are from Vintage Glamour and our kitchen is all complete. I'm so happy we fit that dining room in here. Let's go and do the living room next. I have brought in this rug from Werewolves and we do also have space upstairs. So I don't think I'm gonna put a TV here. Instead, I think I might put a white cottage living couch, possibly with a modern luxe chair here in the corner. Actually, I think it would fit a lot better if we did modern luxe chairs instead of the couch with like a nice lamp on there and maybe we try and use one of the new crystal creations lamps. This wall is going to be the first thing you see when you walk in so I really want to put something like a picture or even just like one of these. What if we try this wall decor from Dream Home Decorator? So we have a reading area right there and then over this way this is where the washroom is so I was thinking this would be a perfect spot for laundry. I'm actually going to carve it out like this. We'll do spandrels in between and I was thinking about adding curtains to kind of section it off. So like our curtains will be right there and Sims can walk through them. I've done this before. This way our laundry area is gonna look a little bit better and maybe I'll just put a hamper behind the curtain. I wish I had curtains hiding my laundry. <laughs> we'll do full body mirror right here and we'll do a small plant here in the corner. I added a cute table here at the end of my hallway with some cottage living flowers, just some decor there and let's go do the bathroom. For my flooring, I'm gonna use this one from Growing Together but I'm also gonna take this Home Chef Hustle flooring and put it in my kitchen just to like switch 
switch it up a little in there. And then for my tiles in here, let's just keep it consistent with the growing together tile. I knew we would be able to fit a shower in this nook. And then we could use a base game sink along that wall with a mirror. And then we'll be able to just hide our toilet in that nook there. I feel like I could also fit a full body mirror in here. This bathroom was like the most awkward shape ever. And I'm gonna change the curtains I'm using to these ones from base game. So we still get the light coming in, but the curtains are still there. And in this corner, we could also put a laundry hamper. So this is going to be our first bathroom. And now I think we can go and do the first bedroom. I think before I do the wallpaper, I'm gonna pick a bed. This one totally matches the aesthetic that I'm going for. So I'm gonna use that one. I might use this wallpaper from Dream Home Decorator. I'm scared of the pattern ones though. Like I feel like that could easily bite me. And also I'm getting the vibe that this is a guest room. So I'm adding a couple tables beside the bed. I'm also adding in our transparent curtains. We need a rug under the bed. For the dresser, I'm thinking this one from Cottage Living. We'll add some clutter on there. And I think I'm gonna add a TV here since I haven't added one in the house yet. We could maybe do some shelving underneath. I actually really like these jewelry holders that come with the crystal stuff pack. So I'm adding those and I'm also gonna add one of the display boxes here as well. I keep finding things that won't work for my bedroom, but I wanna add into the build. So random things are just getting tossed upstairs. I have room for an end table here in this corner and I could probably squeeze this dresser over and fit a hamper right there as well. I think I might add a knitting basket. I'm getting like elderly vibes from this room a little bit. This could be like an older parent's bedroom or the sim seems pretty extra. Maybe they have a maid and the maid is a little bit older. I don't know. But this is going to be our first bedroom, our guest bedroom. We've got the TV in here, some jewelry stuff, a little bit of clutter going on on the dresser, but not too much. And then going upstairs, this could be where we do our actual living room. So we could have a fireplace here, our TV right above, the cottage living couch that we wanted to use but couldn't fit. Oh, we could get modern Lux pillows on here. I also use the modern Lux ceiling tile up top. And I think we also have room for some more modern Lux chairs up here too. I really want a bookshelf right here. I think this one from Growing Together could work. I'm putting a table here from Cottage Living. I just found this bonsai tree, which I'm gonna put on my balcony as a skill item. Okay, so far, this is my favorite room in the house. It's giving luxury, yet it feels cozy in here. We've got some pictures going on the wall, our bookshelf, an end table over here with our eco lifestyle wall art. So, so far it's my favorite room in the house, but wait until you see what we have in store for the bedroom. I wanted to have a water feature inside since we had so many outside. So we're gonna put it literally over my bed. There are multiple fountains combined here. We've got this one from Spa Day. I would probably just keep it as that one because I feel like it looks better without the other ones like that. But the other ones have a vent. These ones are actually from City Living. Actually, wait, what we could do instead of using those I could just add one of these vents here and maybe I'll put one like behind the bed over here and then we'll add these pipes that are going along the side of the house so we're making our own like drainage system which makes literally no sense but I don't care we are going to have a waterfall in our bedroom so that is obviously going to be the main feature of our bedroom but I can add an ottoman at the end of the bed I think I'm gonna use this one from vintage glamour I have a dresser over here from modern Lux. I'm gonna use this mirror from growing together behind it and I'm adding pillows and poofs around so this could be a super cute seating area. Okay so our waterfall bedroom is complete. We've got our bed, the ottoman and then going over to the other side I added some pictures from paranormal, a cozy seating area and I also did do the bathroom over here too which this one has a bathtub since we had a shower downstairs. Our sink kind of basic going on up here but now we're ready to go and color it in. So let's start off with with the exterior. I think the first thing we should change is the wallpaper. So when we do this part of the challenge, I'm not allowed to replace any of the items. Everything has to stay and there can be no white leftover. So I have to change the swatch of everything. So I actually think this blue is gonna be perfect. This is from Cats and Dogs again, obviously. Although maybe it just looks good because of all the white with it. I have to change my cottage living wallpaper. Maybe we change it to this gray swatch. Let's do the roof paint. Roof paint options. Okay, we could do this gray. I'm sure for rent has a gray swatch. Oh, it doesn't. We could do dark brown though, I guess. Let's see about everything else. Like these can be brown. The corbelers. There's so many little things I don't want to miss. The lights we're going to have brown. How about the door? Okay. 
it can work. My chairs, I'm tempted to do the grilled cheese swatch for it. What about the flooring here? Oh, we could do brown. Wait, this is gonna be cute. I'm changing the flooring on all of my balconies to that brown color. How about the Strangerville windows? Yes. Oh, we did good, I think. So far, I don't wanna get ahead of myself. For the Discovery University swatch, I'm gonna do gray so it matches my chimney. So we'll change over all of the fencing. We have to change over the trim. The trim didn't really give us the best match, but we're only halfway through. So let's keep changing our windows and everything. I have columns right here at the front we can change. I'm even gonna change my fountain color to like blue, I guess. I was a little worried about these windows down here from Romantic Garden, but I think we can pull them off. It's weird because everything matches like for the most part, but so far it's just like slightly off. I'm changing all of these plants over. I think I might go with a yellow. I feel like that'll look good against the blue that we added. Changing over our barbecue. I feel like everything so far has had like a nice brown or gray swatch that we can change it to, except for these flowers. I kind of forgot that the only other swatches are red or purple. I mean, purple and yellow are contrasting colors. I think we could also go a little lighter with our dining table. Oh yeah, the foundation paint. What do we have here? Ooh, okay, that's gonna have to work. This challenge is so satisfying watching all of the color come in. I remember having so much fun the last time I did this, so I'm glad we are revisiting it. It's also really great if you do struggle with color because you kind of forget that you're doing the challenge at first until it's time to add it all back in and then you don't have a choice on what you pick, but it's gonna be colorful. <laughs> I don't think I've ever changed this swatch over to green before and we still have to change this flooring, which is definitely like a little strange. Did we get everything back here? I think we did. Oh, there's these flowers along the back too and all of the landscaping at the front. All right, I think we got it all unless there's like a sneaky window that I have missed or something. I even changed the swatch of this tree, which honestly didn't do anything to the white part. And the only thing that I didn't change are things that you can't use the design tool on. So like there are no swatches for these little white plants, but there we go. This is what the front is looking like all colored in. And here we have the back. Now we get to go inside and change all the swatches there. It's definitely already looking a little bit different with all of the windows and doors changed. But let's start off here with our living room. We're gonna change the wallpaper. And I know we have a gray for Modern Lux. We also do have a brown, which isn't my favorite swatch. Maybe I'll try the gray for now. I'm changing my flooring for Eco Lifestyle. And I guess we're gonna bring the gray wallpaper all the way through the house. Okay, let's change our bookshelf. I do wanna keep everything like brown, I think. What about the werewolf's rug? Ooh, I don't know, we'll come back to it. Chairs, we could go black. And my table has this like brown swatch underneath. For our wall art, ooh, this is getting hard. We have to change the rug. Maybe the dark is the best. What if we went all black actually with the wallpaper? I still have to change my door here and my lights, my plants. I think maybe with a better table in the middle there, it would have turned out a little better, but it's not bad. I'm not a fan of like the all white in the first place. So to me, this is definitely an improvement, but I'm curious to see which side you guys end up liking better. Like the all white version or are you liking the colored in version more? We need to change our hallway over here. There we go. And let's go do the kitchen next. So for flooring, I think maybe I should do black flooring. What color should we do for our cabinets? I mean, we do have a brown. I guess we could change that over. And then all of our clutter is gonna have to change as well. Interesting. We need to do our dining table and chairs. I don't really have the best swatches that I like for these chairs, but there is a shade of brown in the fridge somehow too. So we could do these. And for my rug, I guess it's gonna have to be brown. For my dishwasher over here, I'm going with black. We need to change my stairs. And there we go. We've got our kitchen complete. There are so many different shades of brown happening in here, but somehow they're all working together for the most part. Oh, the lantern. Okay, we got it. And now for this bathroom. I know I like this wallpaper and there's obviously matching flooring. Maybe we'll bring in a green rug in here. Should I do green curtains? We'll change up our color palette a little bit if possible. Oh no, I forgot we're gonna have to change the toilet. Okay, I guess it's gonna be yellow. I mean, I like the brown and green swatches, but then you turn the corner and the yellow comes in and I don't know how to feel anymore. But there's our first bathroom. And for the guest bedroom, I totally forgot that this wallpaper might be a little questionable. We do have a dark swatch. Oh, the bed could be this green color. I really like that. And then we can try and match everything else to that. We could do the orange rug. There's also a brown one if we had to. Let's see, we'll match my table. 
beautiful. The flowers, the vase. Oh, this room is actually going to be cute. My shelves and everything here. And then obviously our dresser is going to change too. That hamper matches so well to my bed. This one turned out really fun. I'm glad that this bed turned out. I totally forgot about that swatch, but I like how it matches my knitting basket over there. But let's go see how the upstairs turns out. Okay, let's start by changing the couch color. And now that I saw that bed downstairs, I think I want to bring that same color scheme up here if we can. We're going to do the brown modern luxe chairs with the blue cottage living couch. Oh no, this rug. The rug we might have to change a couple times. This mirror can match. This is getting tricky. Okay, we've changed the wall art over there. My plant, the lamp here. All of these are so silly and meant for like the kitchen, I feel. But we're going to have a llama picture. And then for the bookshelf, we're just going to try and match everything else going on. Oh, we cannot forget about this ceiling paint. Do I want to do black? I think we should do brown up top. So this is how our colored in living room turned out. I'm loving this. I love the color palette. Yes, it is a little bit off in some places, but isn't everybody's house? I feel like the colors worked the best up here so far. So I'm excited to bring that blue into the bedroom. Oh no, I use the Oasis courtyard wallpaper in here and the swatches don't really match what I was going for. The closest I guess we could use is this orange. We'll change the color of the wallpaper and the bed. I thought this one was going to be easier. I did not expect orange. Okay, it's fine. This is like the opposite of what I had in mind for this room. <laughs> Maybe we try this blue instead and we'll change the dresser area over here. This bedroom has been our downfall for sure. It's 100% the wallpaper I picked. I am actually at the yellow might be our best bet. So many of these swatches on here have white flowers. I swear I'm changing it, but this is how our bedroom turned out. I had such high hopes for this one and it's fine. We have a waterfall. For the final room we're gonna do, we're just gonna change everything over. Again, I use the same toilet as downstairs, so I guess it's gonna be black this time. We're even changing the toilet paper, the sinks. There is a blue swatch for the flooring. Ooh, I'm not a fan of the dark swatches for this wallpaper in here. And also the blue isn't working. I'm just gonna do black flooring. So this is how our color swatch coloring book challenge turned out in The Sims 4. Let me know what you guys liked better. Did you like the all white? Are you into the more colorful side? This was a super fun challenge to try. So if you guys have any more build challenges you want to see me do in The Sims 4, let me know in the comment section down below. And if you like the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.